today's topic of discussion is dermatitis herpetiformis it is a skin manifestation of gluten sensitivity anti glutaminase antibodies are produced it is associated with thyroiditis clinical features dermatitic manifestations include intensely itching papules vesicles and there is no formation of bullae there is no formation of bullae these are grouped lesions grouped lesions the dermatitis herpetiformis now we can define it as an intensely pruritic intensely pruritic papillo vesicula intensely pruritic papillo vesicula skin disease characterized by lesions symmetrically distributed over the extensor surfaces like elbows knees buttock back scalp and posterior of the neck almost all dermatitis herpetiformis patients have an associated gluten sensitivity enteropathy gluten sensitivity enteropathy which affecting the small intestine more than 90% of the patients may express or associated with hla b8 dr wt3 or hla dq wt2 association this disease may manifest at any age including the childhood it may manifest at any age including the childhood onset is most common at the second or fourth decade is most common the disease is typically chronic the disease is typically chronic okay now the biopsy the biopsy will show the neutrophils neutrophils at the tip of dermis dermal papillae neutrophils at the tip of dermal papillae neutrophils at the tip of dermal papillae and direct immunofluorescence shows granular iga deposit at the tip of papillae the linear iga deposit will seen in is seen in linear iga disease that is a variant of the bullous pemphigoid and the small intestine will show partial villus atrophy okay now the treatment part the treatment the drug of choice is dapsone drug of choice is dapsone and gluten free diet we should avoid the wheat barley and rye and avoid iodides as it is associated with the thyroiditis okay now we will solve an mcq all are true about dermatitis herpetiformis except option a the lesions are intensely itchy yes it is intensely itchy therefore the bullae formation will be inhibited or destroyed the lesions have epidermal bullae yes that bullae do not have epidermal bullae this is an exception the iga in the papillary tips papillary tips papillary tips yes there is a granular iga deposition in a papillary tips association associated with gluten enteropathy yes it is associated with the gluten enteropathy so here the correct answer is lesions have epidermal bullae the lesions have epidermal bullae is the correct answer now the concept of the day the patient with dermatitis herpetiformis established by skin biopsy are presumed to have a celiac disease and can be treated with a gluten free diet without any other diagnostic studies thank you